Hey guys, welcome to IG Live, and this is like packing edition. Pack it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, <laughs> we spoke a lot yesterday, like I'm trying to catch my words after yesterday, and we had our book club in New York, and it was wonderful. And if you missed it, it is live on at Tibby. It was a great discussion. And we had this whole IG plan today where we were going to talk about what we bring on um, different vacations, business trips, business trips that turn into vacations, um, the items that we buy when we're on vacation, uh, if we wear those items back at home, how do we do it or how do we not feel bad mm -hmm. for buying what we bought. Um, and then something got brought up though in book club yesterday in the lunch one and then brought up again in the evening one which was really interesting that I think kind of will be a good overarching thought to this conversation. But it was a lot about the freedom that people feel when they are really learning to dress based on how they feel. Yeah. And releasing themselves in the, with the notion of not having to buy too much stuff. And it really got brought up by a woman who asked about handbags. Mm -hmm. How do I have the right handbag for each different occasion that I'm going to? And she said, for instance, where she was that afternoon with us, she wasn't sure what bag to carry with what she was wearing. And what really came out of it, which was interesting, was that, um, okay, number one, you buy bags slowly over time to fill different needs, yep. right? And we discovered that a lot of people, whether it's a handbag, whether it's a shirt, a skirt, a pant, whatever, that when something works for you, you think this, probably because you've been told it a lot, you double down on it, yep. right? You do it again and again and again. Yeah. You're I like, want more of it. Exactly, like that brown bag that is just that perfect size works for me and therefore I need it in black and then a bright color too. Yep. Same and shape. Exactly. And people do that with a base wardrobe. But how many times have you seen like, these are the only three items you need till the end of your life and you're like, no, that's not, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. And it's not realistic, not because, uh, not because it's boring to wear the same things over and over again. What it is, is that when you get dressed, certain things can be created in some combinations to give you different feelings, but at some point, the range of the feelings runs out, mm -hmm. right? There's but only I'm... so many feelings you can evoke from certain pieces. So what happens is a lot of people, they bought things on repeat and they walk into their closet and they have a closet that is jammed with stuff, but they feel like they have nothing to wear. So one of the interesting things that came out of the conversation with a woman asking about the handbag was that okay you know it is good to you know if you know that you have events in the evening which someone will at some point in their life multiple times those are events where you're going to be holding you know events where you're going to put your bag down right right events where you're going to hold your bag yep. for the whole time it's a part of you exactly like it's not it's going to be part of the whole outfit so like when you are at an event where you're going to be holding your bag the whole time has to be small enough, right? You definitely don't want to feel like you've carried your big work bag in. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be small. It's got to be in a really good color that is kind of neutral enough that it works with black in an elegant way, but then it would also work if you wanted to wear something bright. Yep. Yep. That's why that's like really good weird purpley browns are good for that. Um, so anyway, so then you buy that bag, and then you're done. And you don't need that bag again. You don't need that don't bag Don't buy three again. of that bag. Don't buy three. So the other thing was, okay, think about like all the different modes, feelings that you're in where you have not had the right bag. Not the exact moments in time, but the feeling of the event of the place you were going to, when was it that you were missing that key accessory. Then the other big thing was the idea of, these don't have to be designer. They're not things that you saved up for your whole life. Sometimes they're just something really special that has a lot of meaning to you. And so for the event yesterday, the book club with what she was wearing, and it was a rainy day out, we gave an example that like on that day, it. 
You don't need the Balenciaga bag. It doesn't have to be the Celine bag. It can be, but it doesn't have to right. be. Form and function. Exactly. And so the idea was when you have things in your closet that you bought because they really meant something to you, maybe it's your son's favorite restaurant, maybe it's one of, um, this is from Savannah Bee Company. We love Savannah Bee. Bees are really good. Um, it means something to you. And so if you're going to work, and you're thinking, well, do I need a briefcase, a beautiful leather like tote bag, or do I just need the Clamato bag? When this bag has purpose and reason, mm -hmm. like purpose and reason combined is like the holy grail. Yeah, it's really good. Like, it's really good. I mean, because you're gonna want something that Noemi's come up with too, and which I wear, wear a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure a lot of. I mean. There's a lot of artwork out there. I don't keep all of it, but no, some of it's a daughter, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's my daughter, and she makes some pretty amazing things for two year old. I mean, of course, I'm bragging as a mom, yeah. but, no, but she's like a natural born. Somebody said she's a, mixer. an icon on the side. Said she's an icon, so I'll take it. <laughs> they, I know that is. But no, uh, things that mean a lot to me, yeah. I want to carry with me, and, and especially in a moment place that's foreign, right? Sometimes people come to spaces like this, they came to the book club, maybe you didn't know someone, you met a friend, but you're feeling like, oh God, I'm going to the Tibby office, what do I wear, what do I do? It's nice to have that security of knowing that something that is special to you, you brought it with you. You can always like go back to yourself. Well, the special thing too is, it's such a good modifier as well. It's a way to, like, this was an interesting conversation, but we did this event with Brightling and, um, and it was circular, because I think a lot of you guys know that I, I bought a Breitling watch for myself for my birthday, and then I talk about it a lot as I talk about the things that I love, and we ended up doing a book club at Breitling. And the head of Breitling USA was there, and he came up to me and he's like, well, I'm all chill, modern, and classic, but he's like, I'm afraid I don't like have any kind of modifier at all. I don't, like, I'm kind of boring. And as he was talking to me, I kept noticing like under his shirt sleeve, mm -hmm. there was like all these little bright colored threads. And I was like, what's, you know, I was like, what's going on there? And he's like, well, my daughter, one of my daughters made this one, one of my daughters made this one. And just through that simple act, for him alone, when he's wearing like all of his business attire, Every time he looks down, he's like, I'm a dad, I care about my family, yeah. I love my daughters. I, You know, that that's a way just to modify the suit with something that is really precious and dear to you. And all these things, like, of course you can go buy, you know, you can go buy that as well, but when these have really deep connections, yeah. it means something. You just touched on this reminded me to think about the people that this is related to. Yeah. Last night you called it armor, mm -hmm. and I think that it truly is that. This one I got in Mexico City. I got it right before the pandemic with my friend Elizabeth, and she's like my best friend. We say I love you a million times. You'd think she's my like wife. She is my wife. My friend wife. Whatever. Yeah. Don't take that as you want. Yeah. This one came from Sally, but it reminds me of the 80s, and it reminds yeah. me of like friendship and friendship bracelets back then. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's that armor that says, you know, because it's one thing, and again, this is not a bad thing, and I have lots of things like this, but like, it would be one thing if you had bought the bracelet as part of like the new Gucci mm -hmm. campaign or whatever. Again, fine, if that's your thing. Right. But uh, there's no story there, though. But when there's not a story there, it's what happens is uh, you, when we talked about armor, it gives you the absolute right to wear it. You know, like I think there's a little bit of a level of self-consciousness that you have sometimes if you're like, oh, I went and spent, you know, a thousand dollars or whatever. And everybody thing. knows it. Everyone knows it and it's done feel so good. But, and, and maybe it does feel good or whatever, but, uh, but we do know with us here, a lot of us, that when you've got the story, the backstory, it does give you the, like, I've got every right to wear it. And can you imagine someone not liking that like no, that it, would, it wouldn't matter it, it like wouldn't matter it wouldn't matter it wouldn't matter it would reflect so much on that individual rather than anything on you oh. so these are the things that give you the armor and um 
And so like I am wearing, this is uh, my friend Ted's company, um, Savannah B. He and I grew up together and, uh, and I really love what they're doing there. So, you know. Oh, the because.org, that's cool. These are good. He, he pointed out that he is really in one of the only industries that the more his business grows, the better it is for the world. Like, it truly. That's a truly is. Pitch so, exactly. Um, but the point is then, is when you do pick up these things that you love and that you found along the way, how do you mix them back into your wardrobe? Mm -hmm. And they still fall into the whole um, category of the things that we talk about, right? Like chill, modern, and classic, and then modified, right? Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. it goes with, you know, irony, and yeah, there's your irony. Yeah, the, totally. Your irony with the... Wait, will you talk about your red socks? Oh, yeah, here? so we had our DIY a few weeks ago. Was oh, that yeah. last week? I feel like time is flying. That was, no, was that last week? No, we're dog years here. That was, okay, that was seven years ago, exactly. clearly. And these are the stockings that I made into socks. I, a good thing, meow, yoga pose. There we go. Um, and they're great. I mean, they have the right amount of slouch. So it's I kind of a nice little roll, though. It, had, it does of, have a nice little roll, a nice yeah. little ease, just enough sheerness at the toe, and it gave me a little pop that I feel good about today. Exactly. Okay, so your skirt is in um, nylon, and this is part of the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, part this of is the, the Forever, forever yeah. Collection, so that's mm -hmm. the pull-on. And I'm wearing the nylon now in that balloon skirt style. Mm -hmm. So this is a size four, and this is the regular length. Someone uh, wrote to me the other night and asked if I am taking the regular or the longer length. This is the regular in the size four, and I am five five, which is actually five four and a half, but I'm rounding up. And so yeah, this regular and petite, regular and petite. Okay. And what you can see is my belly button is right here, so this is sitting right at the waist. So if you are looking to get this skirt, the waist measurement is what's important. If it's too small at the waist, what's going to happen is it's going to force the skirt to sit up a little bit higher and it's going to feel a little bit shorter on you than it does uh, on me right now with where it's sitting. And if you were to buy it one size larger, it still fits, it's just gonna sit down like this and it's going to be longer on you. And I know um, that concept of length really changing based on not just the grade of a size, but how much you have filled it out or not filled it out is a real thing to consider when you're getting this skirt. But you are looking at, right, at it right now on someone with a 27 inch waist, which falls right into the spectrum for us for a size four, and this is uh, meant to sit at the waist. Can we just have a good comparison? Because you have on a more tailored waistband, yeah. which is numerical, and I have on a pull-on, right. which stretches and extends, and this is alpha, so I'm wearing a large. And so, I wear the small. Right, so if she were wearing a pull-on in this, she would wear a small, yeah. but here she's wearing a four. So our small is really a four and a six, yeah. right? And yes. then our medium would be an eight, eight and a ten, ten, and our large would be... 12, 14, yeah, and then... Which I extends because large. of the... Well, an extra large actually hits like a 14, 16. And the reason why you have that overlap too is we know that um, as the body grows, we know that things different sit in different areas, right? right? Different right, right, proportions. Right. You've got more things to move around and sit in different places. So the large and the extra large accounts for that difference in body type there. Okay, cool. All right, so I want to show you guys what I'm bringing um, for a quick trip. Um, I'm going to get Sarah. Cool. I'm going to Paris next week, and it's for a really tight time frame. I have to go work on the Fall 24 collection, which is kind of killing me, but I have to do that. Um, and I'm gonna carry, just to carry on, because I'm traveling with Tracy, and she will, if, Tracy will bring her clothing in a wall. She's so freaking efficient with the way that she packs. Um, so I wanna show, that when I'm packing for this trip, hey, let me help you like roll this for a little bit. Uh, so for this trip, it looks like a lot here, but really, uh, like if this is off the hangers, this is all going into like a little Bermuda roll on bag. And the same Ramoa, we're not sponsored, but I really do like their bags. Um, so 
what I've done here with this is I'm just showing you the range of what I'm packing and what I'm thinking about. So because I'm going for um, fabric shows, I am going to be walking around a lot and I'm gonna need to throw things into a bag. So I'm gonna bring uh, the nylon bag here because it's going to fit in the um, my iPad really easily. It's got the nice leather though on the front. So it's gonna help me feel put together. Also because um, I am gonna be wearing t-shirts a lot. And so wearing the t-shirts, like for me, um, like I love this bag, but somehow the t-shirt and the canvas, it's, a lot. it's too casual. It's too casual, it's too much. It's like clamata, bees, like everything. So here, this is keeping it a little more sophisticated for me and right for a work environment. Um, then I'm keeping it in this blue navy vein because also that's just what I do, travel or not. But I'm gonna then have the top that I can throw on here and I would wear it over the tee during the day and then I'm gonna wear it there at night. Acclamata. For my romantic dinners with Tracy, I love her, but you know, travel. Um, then this, because like, who's not wanting to have something that late at night when you're sitting around outside in a restaurant in Paris, or um, I think about the sweater that I'm wearing in the hotel room with my pajamas. Okay. Do you think about? No. No, you don't. I, I do. Um, Although, yeah, it depends. Like, you don't want it to be all stinky, like cheese and cigarettes. And Paris, like, no, I'm other people. Not me, I'm other people. Um, okay, but anyways, so soft cashmere tea because that is something that we all know that I would live in. Then I'm going to also pack a piece of denim. If I were going pure straight up, like, cap fraud or something like that. I actually would not bring denim to that kind of vacation, but since it is Paris and I'm gonna be working, I am going to bring denim. And I do wanna say that the Sid denim, what's great about it is, well actually, and the denim that you're wearing. This is, oops, I got that. So good. Um, so the idea is when you're thinking about denim for the summer, um, off the body and light, and yep. then uh, light off the body again, but really nice and light. Not as light as the chambray. No. But definitely not as heavy as I For sure. Yeah. Um, then um, I'm just a little hack here. This is, I've thrown in uh, my son's shirt, and um, this is something that I bought for him to wear to the runway show when he was in high school. And it's Gucci, and it had a Peter Pan collar, and the collar was disgusting and gross it had really yellowed from being in my closet and I just chopped it off this morning and so now it feels better I actually like it better than the Peter Pan collar because I don't really do Peter Pan collars um, a bodysuit a pair of shorts to wear and this is if Tracy and I do get to skate for a day right someplace. you're not like going to the fabric I'm not going <laughs> no and I'm not walking into Printemps like whoa so anyways, this is if we get to head down to the water, which we might. So this is just in case, but I haven't like dedicated too much space right. for it. Um, the other thing I live in for sure traveling, especially like in Paris, is having the perfect slip dress. So, uh, and then for the airplane, I've got the sweatshirt. And this I will wear with my pajamas. That's, yeah, that's fine. That's for sure. Would you not wear that with your pajamas? Well, now if you wore that on the airplane, I definitely wouldn't want to wear that in bed. Pajamas. Right. But I would air it out to get airplane funk. They should name a cologne like airplane funk. Like, yeah. A cologne or like an anti, like an like, like anti like spread. Like a debunker. Like a debunker, de de you know? Um, okay, so before I jump off, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, again, is having things that are tied to memories that um, you can purchase when you're on vacation, and you don't have to be all caught up in um, 
are they really you and um, certainly not like what would Amy say but so I have here um, like if I were going down to the beach these I would bring and this is something that um, it was interesting because Sarah and I were talking about this I bought these when we were in San Miguel and they're definitely not the type of shoe that I wear but when we were in San Miguel I did I wore yeah. them like and they were so useful on all that cobblestone um, and if I were going to the beach if I were going to Majorca or wherever I would bring a beautiful like black easy dress I would wear this dress with it and just run around and just be really effortless and put together in these shoes but what's okay is is I don't have to wear these back at home I don't have to wear them in New York and I think I paid like $30 for them and the woman who made them was sitting right there and it was lovely and I have zero regrets so you know this is one where you have to watch out when you listen to people who are like if you haven't worn it in six months toss it or even if you haven't worn it in two years like okay what if you're in you know Majorca but you're not going back for I mean who not everyone is like okay every single year I have these like amazing beach vacations right so um, when you think about the tools in your closet line them up like tools so like just because you didn't have a reason to use I don't know, other than tool or wrench, I don't know what the names of other tools would be, but like, let's just say there's one that does something one like up. a little, no, but like, if there's a tool that does something a little more complicated. Like a screwdriver? No, that's a third tool, though. Good job. Um, <laughs> Name that tool. Um, wrench? I don't know. Here. Wow. Swiss Army knife? Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army for the wind. But I don't think, that's like in your junk drawer, not like your toolbox. <laughs> Some people know. Now we know. Toolbox. Um, <laughs> But anyways, my point being that um, just because it's specialized, it doesn't mean that you toss it out because you haven't worn it a lot. Save it for the moments that you will wear it. And the idea is it's an espadrille. It's not like I bought something that is like 100 diameters. Is that, what are my words? Is that a thing, like 100 diameters? Okay. Um, and this is another thing. I. Every time I've had a beach vacation, I bought these um, at Calypso in St. Bart's. And again, I don't wear them anywhere else, yeah. but physically on the beach vacation. And when I do wear them at the beach vacation, though, I do tend to definitely mix them in with my key whoops, things that are a little straighter and cleaner. Um, even on vacation, you will not find me running around in a peasant skirt with these. But, you know, I will on vacation wear this and this together because that feels right. Totally. Even though, like, I would wear a Brody slide in the city or in Paris with this. But if it's safe, if I'm in St. Bart's. Right, and it, it only takes up minimal space in your suitcase. So if you were going from Paris to St. Bart's or any of those aforementioned places, you're set. You'd be fine. Like, you're definitely not going over the weight limit with that shoe. You're set. And then you don't come home and put this on and then run around right. in the city. And it's okay. But the idea is you don't buy too many of these things. When you buy them, you make sure you understand why you bought them. And they usually help you feel more at home in that new right. environment that you are in. And you wear them back with your other things. Because, like I said, in St. Bart's, I didn't buy a roughly off-the-shoulder top with a matching skirt and these. I just bought them. And a big floppy hat. I didn't buy a big floppy hat. No. Oh, and very quickly, just because these are um, on the site on sale, and I just want to point them out because you really scared me talking about like compression, compression socks, socks for the airplane. Oh, yeah. Like it's important. I wear compression socks when I fly. Yeah. I think everybody should actually. It feels so good when yeah. you're standing on your feet a lot. Doctors, nurses. Everyone. Yeah. So these are compression socks. These are the alphabet socks. So both of these are H's. I don't know why they're H's. We don't even have any like double H people here. Um, but if you buy two pairs, you can have like an A and an S or a Harry Ham one. Everyone can get an A and an S. for your kids. I don't know. Yeah, anyways. There you go. All right. Cool. Talk to Sarah. Um, yeah. Okay. So... 
I am going to talk about what I am packing for the Midwest next week. Oh, what are you doing? She's such a Midwestern now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, no, I have a wedding in Minnesota, and then I'm going um, up north in Michigan. I'll be on a lake for about a week. And so, you know, I am from the East Coast, so I'm definitely infusing my own personal style with what I think will be appropriate for that area. Um, so the first thing, I am wearing the crop stamp, the crop summer sand jean in the classic wash. These are definitely a lighter weight, as Amy mentioned, than the regular Sam jean. Um, but for me, these actually like hit my ankle perfectly, so I don't have to cut them as I do with the regular ones. And I'm wearing it with the stone washed oversized tunic that has, you know, the same signature cocoon that we always talk about. Um, so it's long enough to cover your bum on the airplane or however you're traveling. I love a denim on denim look and I am pairing them with these red shoes that I just got today from Amy's closet. Um for, for you. For, so for those of you Should and Amy and I are They're not really the same good. Amy and I are not the same shoe options. size. I would just like to point out. Um but these were, you know, a lot of times when we're in Paris, um, Amy and Tracy or even myself, we will go looking for vintage and this is a perfect. It was this cute little vintage short. And they looked really good. They did. They definitely didn't have my name on it. With right. tiny. Um, yeah, they they say thirty seven and a half. So I was like, maybe, and they yeah. fit perfectly. Yeah, um, what's on your wrist? It's a scrunchie. Okay, so um, I'm going. This is something I'd probably wear to like a Friday night rehearsal dinner. That's casual. Um, I wanted to show you guys how I think you can pair something like a summery sandal with a heel, which is not really something I wear a lot, but wanted to kind of dress up a denim on denim look. Um, this lovely scrunchie, um, uh, when I'm at the lake, I, I mean, I wear my hair up all the time, you guys know that, but um, you know, just to make it a little bit more festive, especially if I'm wearing super casual, like bathing suits, sporty nylon, whatever. Um, I just thought this was a super fun scrunchie I've had for a little while. It is from Miriam Nazir. And then, um, so these are two pieces that I'm definitely gonna incorporate throughout my week um, because I will be up north, more towards Canada. It, it is a little colder, so, you know, packing layers is definitely important. So I have a question, okay. right? I'm born in Indiana, yeah. I know the Midwest. And this I'm to, not saying that I No, 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 but I think what's great is I think this is so perfect, but I think what really still retains your thing is you went with a black belt instead of a brown belt. Or yeah. even a red like a, belt that people think they have to do sometimes. Oh, well, no, that's just rude. Yeah. But a brown belt would definitely would, soften it. But you probably would have felt too, I would have felt a little like flat and not really oh, but as, almost costumey for you. But yeah. like black is still you, so this whole totally. thing like looks like you, but, but Midwest, so maybe appropriate. Midwest, yeah. I don't know. A lot of yeah. people out there are probably gonna be like knocking me for all this. But no. um anyways, yeah, and then so underneath um I am wearing one of our new fundamental t shirts. Um this is my favorite t-shirt that we have designed thus far, and by we I mean Tracy and Amy, and um, I am also wearing it exactly like this. Um, like I said, layers are going to be key this time of year. Um, this is a size small, um, so it is engineered to be oversized, but I would probably do an extra extra small on this. Um, in fact, I will order an extra extra small. Mess. But even in an extra extra small, it is it is still be oversized. Like this yeah. is not a crop top yeah. by any means. Um, but the color is something I wanted to call it specifically. It has those kind of like gray and brown undertones, and the weight. It is a very like sturdy t-shirt. I would say. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not as thick as a ponte, but it is definitely thicker than like. I think it's like a regular t-shirt. Yes, it's definitely, sure. if you have our other t-shirts, it is definitely thicker than those previously. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it looks really crisp 
with a pair with like really any trouser or jeans um really feels you know i've been thinking a lot about chill modern classic mm -hmm. obviously all the time but um more so today since we really dove in heavily yesterday during the book club and yeah. just really like how to make something feel more me with my modifier like this is definitely this is simply the jeans and a t-shirt but the and red the sandal the belt the jewelry my scrunchie like those little things all make them more within like my personal style narrative i think but, too you know because tracy with her style this is so tracy it's yeah. so tracy and then she's wearing birkenstocks or something with she's it she's wearing and clogs but clogs <laughs> not the red and then I'm wearing all of this, but for me, you're gonna roll the sleeve. I'm gonna roll the sleeve yeah. up a little bit. It tends to make it just a little more feminine for me yeah, as an I option. Love. I'm gonna leave it down too, but it's just always about having these options. Totally. And um, one of the things that we talked about yesterday a lot when book club was, I don't like it at all when people come to me and they're like. Oh, I had this stylist and she sent me a book of all these looks and I put them up in my closet and so now I've got outfits for days. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is when you move past thinking about outfits and you really start to think about the feeling that you're getting from something, then you realize that simply having this down is a feeling and having it up is a feeling. I don't think any stylist we show this as one outfit and then this as another. But the reality is, is it's creating two different moments totally. in how you feel. And so it is giving you multiple outfits just in these little things of understanding really the connection of like, oh, that feels very pretty. Oh, this feels a little stronger and I want to feel stronger today and I want to totally. feel softer tomorrow, you know, whatever. So that's totally. how you build out options. And this is actually, so, Speaking of that, this t-shirt is going to be like really the fundamental piece in my suitcase that I, oh, you had a question. It comes out with fundamentals? Yes, this t-shirt is fall fundamentals. So this is not on the site yet. It is in the coming soon category. Um, so it is coming soon. But yeah, so this is something that because as Amy said, you know, even just rolling the sleeve slightly and again, back to kind of like the weight, and how polished it is, I really feel like I can wear it with a jean, I can wear it with a slip skirt and this shoe, so and she. still feel like myself, but feel appropriate for whatever other events are, are happening. And then, you know, obviously I wanna mix in some things that I already own because I'm not buying a new wardrobe yeah. season after season, so I'm mixing in the pink, the rose colored satin pant from Spring Fundamentals. This is a perfect color with this pant because this was one where a lot of you guys who bought this pant, uh, a lot of you bought that burgundyish brown mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. t shirt for spring to go with it. This is great as well. I would also wear the uh, the fundamental sweatshirt totally. in that colorway too. Totally. But this is really great together. And so I think by wearing these two together, or with the uh, sweatshirt, if you have this pant, if you don't want to feel pinky, totally, you're not like it's gonna Barbie pick up vibes, or there are no Barbie vibes. Barbie wishes. This Barbie's a fashion designer. This one, yeah. <laughs> she grabs. She's chic. Let me know. Your your sizing for the uh, crop stem. These are 24. Um, I'm wearing them with a belt because I wanted to wear them a little bit higher, but they do fit me where they're intended to be, which is a low rise. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm five feet, so they hit me in a regular length, not cropped. Um, and then I'm just packing a few different other tops to go in. Like this is a really small edit and I'm wearing like three pieces. Well, I was wearing three pieces. Um, so I'm wearing, I'm bringing a graphic <sighs> tee. This is baby Billy. <laughs> And, um, you know, this just feels very current. If you watch The Righteous Gemstones, then you know that the newest season is on. Um, it's so good. And it's just really good. It's so good. And so, like, honestly, this is for me, and no, or I guess anyone else that watches the show, but, like, I really don't care. Um, but I really like this graphic tee, again, with this jean, and I do think the shoe is ironic with this. Mm -hmm. um, and so 
just something fun. This is all something I would wear over a bathing suit. I'd wear with um, shorts. Um, and then... And I fell in love with the slip skirt, too. Yeah, and I, exactly. Right Again, I, I really just don't want to bring, like, duplicates of anything. Um, and so also, for a, new from our fundamentals, this is the Gabe shirt that you guys know and love, but we did it in a pastel pink. God, these jeans are good. I'm wearing them with everything. They're really good. So I'm wearing this jean with every everything. So under 5'5", five five, like this is the jean. Um, this is pastel pink, and I really do think it is so wearable. So for people that are feeling like it's a little too pushed for them, I promise, like with, you know, with brown, so with green, good. with any of those, you know, ring three colors, ring two colors, I think it works so nicely. Yeah, it's con it's contrasted enough. It's got a tinge of Pepto. Tinge, tinge, but like, it's not making me nauseous. No, 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 it's like, it's not, it's not. That's what um, does. Doesn't make you, I wouldn't, I, but I wouldn't do it. To me, it's not like a hardcore, came to work it's not like a hardcore pastel thing. Totally, yeah. It's got that undertone. It's that, definitely washed. Um, yeah. And again, this is something that I'm gonna wear, you know, as a cover up, tucked into my jeans if you know I'm going somewhere that calls for that. Yeah. Again, it's really all about having these tools that allow you to adapt to any kind of situation that well, you're in. I think what you said is so important when you were like, nothing up here is duplicative. Totally. It's you know, that's what I think really happens is a lot of you guys We'll get to a vacation spot and you realize you've got four things that are it's doing the exact same thing. Totally. And, and especially when you have things that aren't duplicative, you find that there is usually one or two things that you'll find on vacation. Right. That like exponentially grow the number of outfits that you have. Absolutely. Matt? Would you describe the game as somebody else if it's warm, I think, or cool? I, um, I think it's a, do you, well, well, we're, we're both saying two different things, so. Um, well, because, let, let me say first of all, because we're saying two different things, it does mean that it is falling a little bit more into ring three and the color wheel. Do you mind yes. grabbing that? And because the whole thing about ring three is that you can't really quite put your finger on what color it is. Right. You know, and when you can't do that, that's when you're getting like more depth. I'm sorry. I mean, I think I'm just so gonna good. take this home with me. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're done packing. Literally. Yeah. Um, so I'm also packing this Italian sporty nylon pullover because weather is unpredictable, but also like this feels like something I would just really like throw on if we're going hiking. I'm going to be lakeside, so imagine like a lot of outdoor activities, especially at night too. This just feels very weather appropriate. And it is one of those things, guys, when I talk about how much a bifurcated wardrobe sucks, there are very few of you that come to me and tell me that you have literally worn something to shreds. Like we should all be so lucky yeah. to find something that you love that much that you would actually wear to shreds. And so even though this is Italian sporty nylon, which even though we know that Italian sporty nylon is really another word for taffeta, you can wear that hiking and you should wear it totally. hiking. And if you work out on the weekend, you should wear it over your litard to go to bar class and you should wear it on the plane and you should wear it out. So you're telling me you wear my palm dress hiking? No, you can't because you have to be appropriate. And that's the thing, when something is appropriate, don't overthink, don't treat it too precious. Yeah, like really, clothes are meant to be like worn. The clothes are meant to be and worn. And I'm a big proponent of that. Um, I just want to show you real quick on the color wheel. You can see how um, these are more like red pinks and more purpley pinks. And I think this one has got more blue undertones mm -hmm. to it. And oh, blue and red undertones, which actually is purple. Anyways. <laughs> but, You'll yeah, be tested on that next time. Um, but I think what, it's got enough undertones in it that even here wearing it with the navy doesn't feel so contrasting. Totally. You know, but a lot of times, um, you remember the thing is with the color wheel is when you jump a ring, 
the more stark the contrast is. It's not a bad thing, but it's a starker contrast. And so I tend to not wear navy a lot of times with things that are starkly different because it reads a little too preppy yeah. to me, right? And so, uh, but this doesn't feel preppy no. to me because of the undertone. So like I'm gonna it. say it's it's in the ring three, eking out, like kind of like right on the cusp right between on three on and four. Yeah. yeah. I think he sits in with these it's such a, it's Honestly, it's such a good color. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, similar to the t-shirt Amy's wearing, I am wearing the cashmere fundamental pullover, which is new in red for fall. And I know people at home are probably like screaming because I'm wearing a red shoe with this, but I actually really like it. And so I like it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it's the answer. Um, oh, it says bad connection. Anyways, um, <laughs> what? That, that was that was someone being like, "We hate your out." <laughs> um, no, and I think Sarah, that's a good point. You guys do not forget this. The rules are not rules; they are called principles for a reason, and they are there to help guide you. So it's more that if Sarah put this on and she said, "I don't feel good," "I feel off." then she can run through her checklist. Totally. Is it CMC? Is Are the proportions big, slim skin? Does she have an interesting texture mix happening here? Is she matching the shoe to the top? The thing is, she felt great in it. So you don't have to go through a checklist. Your car is not broken. You don't have to like go for a tune up. You're done. I like it's that metaphor. Good. Yeah, because because we are people who know our tools and our <laughs> automobiles. Tracy and I don't have license. <laughs> yeah. I know, they don't even have a driver's license. Is awesome. that crazy? Yeah, and with everything I'm wearing, yes. the Pedro slide, though, you are not you wrong. They are, the, no, you refer to it as the Brody slide. You've said it multiple times. I do. Um, What's the Brody, then? The Brody the slide. Slide. It's the whole. Yeah. Which is fine. We understand. Um, but the Pedro, you guys, it is really, really great to travel in. Yeah. Yes. Because Pedro. Yes, they love those. Pedro, Pedro with the compression, compression sock on the. Have you seen Pedro on the airplane? airplane? <laughs> I know. All right, Christine. Thanks for coming. All right, Katara and Bryn, come on to your. Uh, oh, let me bring you some of my jets. Okay. All right. Oh, Sarah in the Midwest. That's like a comic book. Okay. I could sketch that out. Okay. Would you suggest the longer skirt length at five seconds? I think it depends on, um, uh, you know, if you, um, well, okay, for the person who's 5'6", can you please tell me what size you are? That That's going to change my answer as well. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, and anytime, you guys, if you do DM me, if you do it, DM uh, any of your stylists, talking to Katara, when you ask about length, always include what size it is that you're intending to wear. Because if you're five six and you tell me that you're going to be buying a zero versus a size ten, that's going to make mm -hmm. a really big difference in my answer on the length. Um, so when I get more info, I'll answer. Thank you. Did you see me? I was like doing the compression sock six. test, and I was like, oh, this is it's going good. Good. This is a substantial uh, sock, guys. So noted. I will be flying with these. Okay. So, yeah. so real quickly, the five sixer who's a size six. Um, <laughs> You're going to hit, yours is probably going to be right here in the longer length if you do that. Okay. So it's good. You're definitely not dragging the ground. And uh, I gave myself, I think there's like a three inch difference. Mm -hmm. And I brought this down about an inch to show you what that would look like given your increased height and all that. So, um, if it were me, if I were buying it, I would buy the longer leg at five six and a size six. I would also. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. All right. So Bren, Bren travels a lot. Where were you last? <laughs> Mexico. You were in Mexico. I'm in Mexico. How did you pack for Mexico? Very concisely. I actually did that in a carry on as well. A lot of it was I actually brought these pants and put mm -hmm. them on rotation. They were great as a beach cover up, but they were also great for going to dinner in the evening. And I would just.
just I instead of wearing a bathing suit underneath would put on a top such as this. A fun fact about Bren's pants, she actually hemmed them. So I did. Bren, I know I ask you all the time and I know your height, but you can tell us again. I'm 5'2", and so when I got these pants, they were probably like dragging on the floor like so. Um, so I went to a lovely drag cleaner near my house and mm -hmm. I said, can you please help me? And she was great. I think we took off two inches. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I'm not exactly sure the exact number. I will find out and circle back for everyone who is 5'2". Um, but I'm wearing my true size extra, extra small. And when it sits right on my hips, you can still see it touches the ground because I did want the puddling so she still to hasn't still been happen. Because um, mm -hmm. I really like that. And if I want to wear them a little bit higher above my hips, then I get a little less puddling. But I did hem these. And don't be afraid to hem them. They are straight leg pants. They are not complex in that sense. Yeah. Tracy, also in general. our designer, said that we fit oh. on a model that's 5'8". And so for herself, she's 5'4". So she just does the math. If she goes, since she knows that this pant is on a model that's 5'8", <laughs> she just, you know, she does the math and sometimes she takes it off. However, that's not the same for everyone. <laughs> um, but, you know, DM me. I will give you all the factoids yeah. as normal. And if you want to DIY it yourself... <laughs> Well, we do have some DIYers, but like if you want a little no, bit I'm, more refined, if you don't yeah. have a brother or a Juki, take yeah. it to your tailor. We All right, so I want to talk about what you took when you went to Mexico. Yes, right? but this is a different Okay. Oh, this is, oh, yeah, because you're packing to go somewhere packing, else soon. Yeah. You're a jet set. I'm, yeah. A jet setter. I think. So what, how are you packing and how are you traveling? So I am packing to visit extended family in Europe, namely Denmark and gorgeous place but it does get cold even in the summer so for me packing with the thought of layering in mind also just in terms of like wardrobe wear in terms of like interchanging the layering for weather is super important so for me these pants can double as plain they can double as dinner um, they can double as if we're gonna be by the river swimming can double as that Amy I like this plain dinner work Bryn just said plain he's double work. as plain plain yeah it's not just plain play. W, it's plain I yeah. need plain for catching that well, I, can, I came to work today DW. guys let's go square DW, DW. <laughs> DW. <laughs> All right, so you packed this. Yes, and I think you so said hungry. Denmark is kind of cold because in the summer. Yeah. A lot yeah, of people are traveling where it's windy or mm -hmm. the nice cold in the desert. The weather can really fluctuate there. That is the key takeaway okay. from this session. Um, and so what's great is I pack also the cashmere um, t-shirting, but in red because I'm really liking reds and browns, and I think when it's picked up together. So I would wear it with this pants as well. Yep. Um, when I'm running around, running errands, running, you know, just going to get some lunches, I would also wear this with, um, on top of this dress, which I would wear to dinners, but I would wear this on top to create a skirt effect as well. Um, and then I would probably, I didn't bring the shoes, but I'd probably wear like a Bayron or a Pedro with this um, as well, which is great. Again, layering, so when it's really warm, I can wear this and then not just throw this on top. Um, for this top, is so so great so functional i will pair it back to a skirt so this so is the easy. black and white so this is yeah this is these striped and now the option skirt. that she has if she's wearing this she can actually tie this in a really cute knot yeah. and it'll just give a little bit of a drape at the hem here oh my god i didn't even know i can do look at you I'm telling you. Okay. The money can shot. I pack you with me? Yes, <laughs> please. Well, I pack efficiently, so I don't know how you can fit me, but um, I'm kind of a Tracy when it comes to packing. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm not. I'm the opposite. So this is really good learning for me as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would throw this on with this, and I will probably pack a little one of our uh, Q or Cameron heels to go along with it. It's funny because I am always like, I don't want to look like I'm on the boat, but if I'm on the boat then and, you I'm, look and like I'm near the, the boat, boat, I'm definitely going to do a black and white versus a navy and do it with a red. Yeah. If it's a cool night. And if it, yeah, exactly. If you're on the boat. I don't know what song it is. Is it um, from SNL? It's like, I'm on a boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a song. It's probably okay. naughty that I'm singing about a boat. It's okay. Yeah. Brand, what size are you wearing in the pants? Extra, extra small. These are my true size. And you, and but I, you took them up. But how how many inches did you take them up? The I tailor. think two-ish. Yeah. My tailor would know better. But can you come a little closer? Because she also has them. You you use your draw. I do use my yeah. drawstring. Yes. So I if I undid. So if she wanted them a little bit lower, she would just release yeah. her drawstring just a touch, and then yep. she could have them lower or even a little bit higher than what exactly. They but I wanted them a little bit higher. These, These are, are the, the summer satin, satin and brown. So this is where it sits a little bit lower, and then I can have it a little bit higher depending on what. 
And I did see, I think we're pretty much sold out in the Navy, but I did see, I think, matches. Yes, so matches, matches has matches these. Has yeah. Also, I want to say either kick pleat or, I think kick pleat also has yeah. a few Navy. And Hampton. Yeah. And Hampton. No, so, Hampton doesn't have Oh, they don't? No, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't think they have so much. No. But we do have brown still left yes. on our site. Right. So you have brown. Yeah. we do have brown left on the Tibby site, but yes, a few other places. Oh, McMullen? Does McMullen? Anyways. Mm -mm. We'll, we we'll, can find we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But see, this is what we happens. We're trying to find it for you. Yeah. If you want it, we'll find it. So <laughs> yeah. I think I will actually packed this for myself, but I would pair this great mint from uh, Fundamentals so for Fall good. back with the pen. I actually have this pant also, and I have the navy. So both this, yeah. the navy and the brown would go back to the mint for me. Um, and then, as Amy is also traveling stuff, I Wait, am running around and will be running from activity to activity, so I will need a bag to house not only my layers, but all of my things and converters and chargers while I am over there. So this is gonna be my airplane bag as well as my just travel everyday run around bag. I, I think we should travel together because immediately I was like, let me see. Did you well, say I, think, I think what's good about this bag too is like if you're really trying to get as much mm -hmm. onto the plane without checking, if you've got the rolling bag and if you've got like the demolish oh, yeah. bag that you've stuffed into, which what's good is this to bag can then yeah. just get folded nicely and lay in there so that you've got like bonus bag. Bonus bag. Which bonus is bag. Guys, if you're in the comments, that's the word of the day, bonus bag. This is also it's cashmere to hold up yeah. into the bag. Still have room, iPad, mm -hmm. shoes. Maybe yep. a small child or a dog. A very small child. A very small child. Like, and, like, and don't close it top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one no. and duty free totally fits in there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Someone duty said free duty free, uh, no do what you want. <laughs> I said duty free <laughs> um, if you're buying like a purse that like puts bleach on it, draws to ball. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Why would you ever buy Best duty free stuff in, in Mexico? My bad, guys. I love like you're over here like, oh, I was like, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> gifts rum for everyone. Um, all right, so. Yeah. If you yeah. get whatever, put it in the back. Right. Cool. Exactly. Uh, so I have on the skirt I had earlier, I pack really light. I am trying to master packing in a carry-on for myself and the child, which, you know, that leaves me probably three pieces. And That's impressive. I buy diapers when I get there. That's my secret hack. Never take them. Anyway, so this is the way. I was thinking about what's good for the goose is also good for the gander. Amy wears this top and does the little back fold, and I, am I the gander this time? I guess you're the goose. Know. Come in. This is the goose. I'm the gander. <laughs> I didn't get it for a sec, yeah, that we were both animals. Birds. I gotta get up to Cute speed. Cute bird. Yeah. All right. All right. But yeah, so, so I have on the Charlie shirting. It's a and I'm lot. wearing that shirting too, big time with this. Yeah. Well. And I'm wearing it here. Yeah. I have a, a quick hack for you. Don't do this on the plane, but if you want to carry more okay. clothes. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, you, got it. you guys ready? <laughs> only Tibby, only Lemon. So then, if you want a different look. <laughs> guys. Now you're like with this little Russian doll. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. The, a nesting doll. I, I am a nesting doll of love. No, I'm a Tibby nesting doll of love. This is also going in my bag. They're laughing because it's true. And look at that. Here we go. Where's the bag? Wait, by the way, I'm a small. You're a small? Yeah. Oh, wait, can I have a red bag? Yeah. Um, I'm a small in this, uh, <laughs> laughing like a duck. Gander. I'm a small in this, uh, small I can't use my words. Um, I'm, I'm packing stuff in this bag. Bonus bag me. Oh, bonus bag Put this me. bag inside. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna put Clamato in here. That's where I'm gonna go eat when I'm in Paris. I'm very excited oh, to yeah. eat well, in I'm Paris. Gonna... Got this going on? Okay. Someone can unbutton here. Yep. Oh, somebody, can anybody help me? <laughs> help me. Okay. Okay, there's Amy. All right. All right, so that's that. So this feels a little bit more prep for me. Yeah. I mean, if we talk about the color wheel, I do have on the, this You feel preppy. A little bit prep. So when I do like blue, like a corporate, I call this a Wall Street blue. Yeah. So, um, so you're like saying things like green is good right now. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Buy, sell, buy, sell, full. So this is a way to definitely de-prepify. And then if you, uh, the red. It's so funny that Amy de-prepped me and put it on my shoulders. <laughs> I de-prepped you, but. de -prepped me. I de-prepified you, but had you put on this, it would have prepified you more. Mm -hmm, that's true. 
prep. And I deep prep myself by pageanting myself yes. versus over the shoulder yes. race, even though that I would do it a little better. Yeah, you're here you're like, buy, sell. And, and I'm like, like hey, do what you want. Do what you want. Yeah. Also, bees are good. Yeah, bees are good. Save the earth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I saw myself and I was like, let's get into this color wheel. Okay, so in the color wheel here, you've got on the neutral and the brown. Mm -hmm. So you've got ring two on. Mm -hmm. And then you've got ring three here mm -hmm. in your, uh, in the pastel blue. And then you mix it with another pastel. So nice, chic. And then you've got, I'm gonna say the brown bay rings actually almost go more into the ring four. They've got a lot of like red undertones. They do, they almost feel like a deep, deep reddish brown. And I would say that if they didn't have red undertones, if it was like more of like a luggage brown, I would, it would make me feel very sad. Keep and going. I think, so when you think about mixing browns, one of the reasons why people in the past have had trouble wearing a lot of browns is because it's always been served up in such a Ralph Lauren way. It's always like a luggage brown, very flat, and then you're wearing it with all these other flat colors. Flat colors. Yep. And so if you notice, even wearing this army green, if you were wearing a luggage brown, it really can get country so fast, like feel way too countrified. But this is where the patent leather in the bay rinds yep. gives so much texture and depth and make brown really, really work. So if you're a person who thinks that you can't wear brown, you can, it probably just needs to have like that ickiness to it and yeah. uh, something really interesting going on. Red on brown, it's good. Um, yeah. So talking about brown. I love brown, all this green and the mint together. I don't want to move into what I'm excited about for fall. So if I had the red, not Rudolph, the Poindexter on. Yeah. The brown oh. wilt. That's very Sarah. Did you steal that from her? No, Sarah stole it from me. <laughs> Here we I are. Sarah's such a queen of the red and the mint. I'm just I saying. Love the chocolate brown. And yeah, so this yeah. is chocolate brown. I'm it's wearing the shape. wilt in the army green. This is chocolate brown, and you can see it's kind of, it's not iridescent, but because it's the crispy nylon, it does its own thing, mm -hmm. highs and lows. And then back with this mint, that's a really good pairing. So I feel like that's also not a country. But I feel like if you wanted this same look with um, that wilt trouser with the shine that is on sale right now mm -hmm. on the site mm -hmm. in that brown, and that would look amazing with that too. Very true. Um, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you need a question? No, because she said, yeah, I'd love to answer any question. I would have. love to. Yeah. And then I'm also packing this guy, which I roll the sleeves on, and I would wear this with the Barons also. Which one? Oh, the brown is coming imminently. Ooh. Soon. Big Soon words. Big words. Yeah. Um, for newsletter yeah, it's actually coming in dark brown and a really good dark gray and an olive green. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I want to end this on, which is so much fun, and I don't know that I'm supposed to announce it, but I'm going to. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, next week, uh, a lot of us are traveling. I've got to go to Paris for work. Mountain girl over here is going to be. I mean, are you, I'm a skier. Is this a surprise? That's still a mountain. Oh, oh yeah. Giant mountain, like. It's not surprising. Snow um, or dry. Land. She's going to be gone. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bryn is out of here as well. So what is going to happen, which is really exciting, it's going to happen on Thursday and not on Wednesday, is Katura and our great team of stylists at the store are going to be doing a complete day of lives. So within the span of a day, over the course of eight hours, we are gonna give you guys a schedule of content. You're gonna to get to see a, just an array of different things happening. And um, you'll get a lot of sneak peeks in the fall, a lot of good conversation. And it's gonna be like a live marathon. It's gonna be a telethon. Super chic, super fun. So good. Um, and we're gonna have the whole store from the team here. And the reason why they are gonna be camping out with us for next week and the following week is we are renovating the store and we're gonna make it into this really incredible space where you guys can come in, sit down, have a drink, hang out, um, try on clothes, stare out the window if you want, do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But we can't have wait to have you there. It's going to be very chic and great. Um, so, yeah. so if you missed it live next week, we'll kind of shift 
to Thursday, Thursday, but it's gonna be a live okay, times live. eight yes. or ten. Will so. we have that candy? Mm, yes, please. Yeah, don't pack all that candy. Where did this candy come from? All the news. So is this the south for our book club? To be ASMR. It smells really good, yummy. But also super hard. That's a lot of candy. I know, it's but like a small child. So wait, make sure you guys put that small child in the back. All right. All right, All right that baby. Okay.